most people who have followed Super Rugby will have forgotten who this man even is. Leaving New Zealand Rugby at such a young age in his early 20s and moving over to what could have been greener pastures in Scotland. Leaving a very big question mark in New Zealand Rugby of what this man could have been. Today we go to Scotland and we're off to chase another fullback. A man who fills more than one role in the Glasgow Warriors team. Today we chase... Josh Mackay. What is going on everyone? I hope you're all doing well and welcome back along to your home of rugby where today we're off to Scotland for a man who could well be a Scottish superstar of the future. Josh Mackay is high on our list and he's the man that I want to get on the scene. Sure, he's not going to be the best player on the squad. He's not going to be a star. He's not going to rip teams. Well, maybe he will rip teams to shred. But he's a sort of guy that really does tick all the boxes as far as being a super rugby reject goes. Today, of course, he sits around at 26 years of age. And, of course, he's already been in Scotland since 2021. So about three years or so, meaning he was about a 23-year-old when he departed to the shores of Grassy. Is it Grassy in Glasgow? I don't even know. But it rhymes nicely with G's. Anyway, he played early days in the NPC for Canterbury, where, of course, he was born in Christchurch. Moving on from there, he got a Super Rugby chance with the Mighty Highlanders, where he spent three seasons representing the team of the Far South. He then moved up country, yep, back home to the Crusaders, where he appeared a couple of times during the 2021 season before making his way over to the Glasgow Warriors, where he has been ever since. He did represent New Zealand under-20s on four occasions as well in 16-17. And of course was a player who had a very, very high potential about him that we never got to see here in Super Rugby. Today though, we will be taking on the Glasgow Warriors to try and get Josh McKay to join our team. On our side of things though, we're changing things around a little bit because of course Reese Hodge was the man we brought in to fill that 15 jumper. But he's so incredible at 12, we've kind of had to mix things up. We're going with a really weird... Kind of, that would be cool to see lineup today with Carreras, that's Mateo on the left wing and Santiago on the right wing. That means volleyball has got to take in the 10 jersey because Reese holds it at 12 and we've got to have someone to fill in fullback. So we've gone with Sean Maitland to do the job there instead. So overall, we've really mixed it up. Of course, coming into the team is Peter Gus Solicula, who will start at number six on the blind side flag tonight. Of course, his back row with Lozana and Talfua, I think will be very, very strong. The rest of the team, though, hasn't seen too much change. We've got a man we want to bring into the second row. We've still got a hooker to bring in as well, and a scrum half. I think we've still got, like, maybe eight or nine more episodes to go to build this team into a nice competitive side. But today, we are looking for something, well, something I want to bring into this team, damn it. Josh McKay, come play for me. Surely you will. On the benches, I mean, we've got heaps. They've got trash. Who really cares? It's a big game. It's in Scotland. It's against the Glasgow Warriors. Let's go. Okay, okay. Glasgow's going to be playing in the black and blue. We're, of course, in our home kits of the red, the black, and the yellow as we get things underway. Kick off from Glasgow. Going off nicely there from Ross Thompson. And a beautiful take two in the second row. Nicely done from Gray. And there's for E. Getting an early touch. Okay, this is what I like. Hawkeye's still at nine. La La La, who's a recent addition to the side, gets a nice little hit up, and look at us, ball. Look at us do a little bit of forward work. Here is Hogard. A little bit congested there for little Hogard. Here is CO, another new representative to that uh, front row. Here's sort of cooler. Away for Hogard, who just about threatens to sneak his way through. Talfua, looking for a little bit of room out here. We'll fire for Vita. Look out for the numbers of Fikatoa. And the run in will be in for Malakai. Fikatoa scores the opener. Well, we got a little bit of ball, we got a little bit of opportunity, and there was no stopping us. Not even Sioni Tupolotu can do anything about that, chasing back hard. And a good finish, I like it. I like what we got there, good work at the breakdown. Deal three was one that started it all. We all know Vaya for feature in space is an absolute menace. And then Fikatoa up against Tupolotu. It wasn't the fastest race of explosive ability, but, you know, they were fairly evenly matched. <laughs> we'll go with that much. Back to the key man who's not touched the ball yet, Reese Hodge. Boy, oh boy, how do we move him out of 12? This seems not the same if he goes to fullback. We just miss his ability to break the line. Here is Hodge with his goal-kicking ability. Again, there's no taking that off him. 
It's uh, chalk and cheese by far better than anyone else in this lineup at kicking goals. Let's see what we can cook up though. We're up by seven now as the ball goes back to Ross Thompson. Who's got the reins tonight, the number 10 jumper. We are, of course, on the bench. And another great take! Oh, Glasgow doing it brilliantly off the high kickoffs. Down on the short side move. Looking for a bit of explosive ability in the end there, Cancellere. Looking for a bit of room down the right wing. They'll switch it to a block. Ramming up here from Thompson. Oh, no, he's going down injured. Ross Thompson goes down, clutching the shoulder. And we just spoke about how it's Duncan Weir on the bench and here's the replacement. Oh boy, didn't expect that. Entries coming in the reject series, what's going on? What next? Here he comes. Crouch, fine. We're on, which means it will be a scrum feed. George Hall. Set. We'll look to put this one in. It's a good press in there from the rejects, but doesn't look like it'll be good enough to turn this one over. Right, where's Horn gonna go? A deceptive little runner, much like Hoggy is, is we all oh, flicking around the corner and a half little break there from Stay. Here's some trudging towards the 22. Horn, this time keeps it tight. Cummings has that good run there. It's got Cummings, met some heavy resistance. We can't even hit runs at the moment. That's how fast Glasgow are getting into this break down. That's to Pronto going off the corner. Good pass. They can't get away. Finishing. Not quite up to mark at the moment. This side. Little pass back in for Horn. Looking to the forwards. Cummings again. Oh, we could have got that turnover. Oh, big pass. Mike Short. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant play. Thought he was going to skip it out, but he kept it in tight. And just like that, the Glasgow Warriors hit back to the big number eight of Matt Ferguson. Well, it looked like he was winding up a big pass here. They took it to ground here. That's why I was like, oh, we're going wide. Going straight out to the left wing. There's a no, he, he kind of intercepted a pass for his teammates there, Ferguson. The ball out from Horn looked like it wanted to go wide. It was high up on Ferguson to catch. But he did very well to readjust, take that ball in. And what looked like a wide pass went very short, very quickly. And here is Duncan Weir to tie it all up. No mistake about that. Let's go. Tie it all up, 7-7. Seven, seven. Good try there from the big number eight, Matt Ferguson. And just when the rejects were looking confident and buoyant about their game plan, very quickly it's come unstuck. Resorts gets us back underway. We haven't seen either. Oh, the Kanata says, what a ball of water, what a brilliant to the moment for the rejects. How about that to kick you underway? Here's Hogard, holds it up for La Lola. And he's lost the ball in contact here. Weir's picked it up, he's shrugged away to Fua. Not many people do that. Bit of room here on the left-hand side. It's Rory Taj with a run, still going. And assaulting that is, he's taken out half of our team. We can go there for Horn, finding some support on the slip. Not really seen. Turnover's a penalty, even better. Scott Cummins. Not getting away with that one. And we've got to take a three here. Well, Cummins has been very good tonight. As has Gray in that second row. And then, like, we're seeing the try from Ferguson. We know Roy Targe has... Bumped off a few, and Dempsey's no slouch here on that back row for Glasgow. But here is a very important kick. I don't... Uh, let's do it. Come on, Reese. let's do it. Very important kick here for Reese Hodge. Oh, my God, has he missed it? Oh, it's saved. He right hand upright, and it's gone astray. Oh, it's going to push it a bit more left. I was actually trying to get that one over. That's not good. Okay. Well, back to the drawing board on that one. I thought that was a gimme three. Here's Weir throwing it out to Seo. Down for it. La la la. Straighten it up through the guts. We've got to get there fast, lads. Get there fast. Well, I don't know what to think about this now. Skelton. Charging up the middle. An easy three. Thrown away very quickly. From the rejects. Keep this one in the tight. No, we won't. We'll go out for Canetis. He's got options here. Sean Malin up from fullback. Malin wants a beat. Tracks on the fullback who goes down. And that's Josh McKay for you. Brilliant work at the back. That's why we want him in. Tough forward. No one there. Co gets it on the run backwards. Back for Hogard. For Skelton. And we'll 
Skelton trying to go for space where he's lost Advantage. the ball. And Horn's knocked it on even better now. Vicky Tower uh, for Seo for the corner. Scotty, Seo almost there. Advantage now for the rejects. A chance to put it over. Solar cooler. Down in a heap. Good tackle again. Hog out away for Skelton. Advantage no, over. the straight train. Oh, there is. Advantage over. I thought he was in there. Hog out again. Nalala, Hodge, misses a kick, scores a try. Well, maybe we should look at threes. Maybe we should look at something else. But the toil is repaid. Reese Hodge gets the try. And Rejects take back their lead. I can't believe he missed a shot at goal. I can't believe this tackle here. It's got to be Josh McKay, right? Doubling round as a sweeper. That was incredible. To stop Will Scout in there, I thought we're in for a gimme try. No one's stopping him normally. Well, it makes me happy we're getting Josh McKay in because defensively, he's been incredible tonight already. Right, strong wind. I can't believe that wind pushed that kick that far wide. The conversion a lot closer, a lot easier, a lot more simple. It's good. It's 14 points to seven. We've got to wonder how. How did that kick miss? I mean, I'm so bewildered. So the call is going for a wee run, just keep yourself warm. There goes half time. Skelton throws to no one. Volleyball against a hospital pass of the highest calibre. Oh God, we just want to kick this one out, I feel like. We don't want to play too much of this game at the moment. It's a bit tense, a bit tight. We need half time. We'll look to make some changes and adjustments and come back and demolish the second 40 minutes here against this very valiant. Very determined Glasgow Warriors side. They've had very little ball, but the one big chance they've had, they took with both hands, eventually uh, using the forwards much better than we've been using the forwards in recent matches, that is for sure. Looking through the rest of the stats, all territory on our side as well. Both sides doing a bit of kicking. And of course, uh, the one penalty conceded should have made a bit more of a difference than it really has. But at 14-7, a draw, member is as good as a loss. And I don't want any losses. I want Josh. I really want Josh McKay in. That means we can keep playing Reese Hodge in inside centre. That's my thoughts. Especially when it comes to big games, right? It also gives us another... Oh, that's how strong that wind is. My word. It took that kick all the way back. Jeez. We've also got to think about the future. Of course, we can't play these games every game. All game is another big break here for Ferguson. Looks to offload, but a good tackle from Saul Cooler. Puts him down in his tracks. Here's Horton. Now it's sort of a good run there from Ray and charging through the midfield there. It's half a run. And almost through from Hugh Jones. Now it's Horn with a wee picking on himself. We can't get anyone near these rucks, man. At all. We will pass it back to There's Stuart Blodger getting the pass out wide. And now Stane looking to trundle his way through, but a good piece of defense. Takes him down. No way through. And then to touch he goes. This gives us a chance now to clear our 22, which is in a bit of danger. Line out solid. Hogard goes back to Bola Bola, who has... Yes, that's a good kick because I feel like that was taken back. So it wouldn't have been a line out where it was going out. Is that great, great? There's Josh McKay doing brilliant work. Little pass inside. That's going to be a turnover. It's going to be a... Yes, it is. Lazana eats those up for breakfast. Here's Volavola. Volavola dancing. Dummy in stepping, weaving. Volavola. Oh, God. Again, so elusive. Tough for her. Now the back door to Reese Hodge. Numbers there. I don't care how good Josh McKay is. He's not stopping that. And Canunas will get the try on the right side. And finally, one of our Canunas show up. Santiago. Showing his adaptability here. Improving his worth. It's just that little step of Hogard. It really is. What an off throw though from Talfua. Poor passing here. Both passes saw the player stationary. Not taking the ball on at pace. And that was a little bit of a downer of that try. But overall, good work. Using every player we had to. And I think now's a good time to make some changes as well. With Kinetic getting that try, we will look to the bench. And I am looking. Jeez, what have we got here? Joey Powell. Uh, let's give Joey Powell some time. I really like what we're getting out of Hogard at the moment. We're going to give him a rest, though. Uh, we will try 
Whoa, let's bring Santiago Canetas back to 10. Bola Bola can make his way out for uh, Makazola the King, the Pimpe. Uh, and let's do it. Are we up by enough? Surely we're up by enough, right? Aki to 12, back with Fiki Toa. What else we got? That's the backs. Samu can get a chance on. Uh, let's put Samu at 7. And swap those two around. I like that. And we'll bring on a little bit of a chance here. Big Ben. Hasn't seen a lot of time recently. Uh, Scotty Co can sit aside this one. Uh, why? I don't know. He just can. We'll leave a couple on the bench in case there's any late injuries. After what we've seen from poor old Thompson, we just never know. There's the wind. Look at it curling that ball around. And Reese Hodge, go take a, a rest, my son. You've been very, very active in the last... Well, since, since we recruited you, to be honest. You've played just about every game. It's too risky. To leave out our uh, Reese Hodge. Maybe next episode we'll give him a break. Um, yes, we'll see. We'll see who we're going to pick up next episode. I have a number of players. I think it's still a seven or eight I want to bring in. But um, boy, they're all pretty toughies. Here's Fafita. Got to win Tavi Afuna who gets a, a real shocking pass. As Kenny does get the ball. Fafita, someone needs to straighten this up. And Fire Fafita will take on that role. This could be a just about turnover. Here is Joey Powell. This is his game. Kick the ball. Get it out of danger. Here's Josh McKay, though. Great chase from Powell. And a turnover. Joey Powell, brilliant. Here's Vikitoa. Benny one. Oh, taken from behind. Looked like he was all the way there. Here's Faree. Run off, though. Canetis. Numbers all. No, Canetis can't pass. Oh, Marcus Zola. It was all there for him. Talfua. Little ball inside for Tommy Fruna. Oh, brilliant magic. Big Ben gets the try. Not the man I was expecting to support, but it's good enough for me. Loves a good meat pie. Does Big Ben Tommy Fruna. I was trying to get Mpimpi in the right place. That pass should have gone. Josh McKay really wrapped him up well. I was trying to elude. Bring on that last defender of George Horn and then go for Mpimpi. But Mpimpi wouldn't get in position. So I went, of course, instead to that man, Big Ben. And we'll take it. I don't care what number's on their back. Good enough for me. So Santiago's still on the field, of course, Canetis. Now he's got to adjust these wins. Look how strong it is. Has he done enough here? This is really going to push back in his face. The kick looks on target. Has he got the legs? It's curling late. But a good kick there from Santiago Canetis. As we jump on. Another couple of points. 28 points to 7. Oof. Tell you what, man. Normally we're really incredible in the first half. Today, we were shocking in the first half. Just went up. 14-7. We've come back strong, though. Advantage. And we've knocked it on. Well, I shouldn't have said Advantage that. over. Advantage is swiftly over. As Lalala gets it back to Canetis, who knocked it on. This time, he holds on to that one and kicks it away. Well, let's run it back here. Josh McKay can play it away. And that's a good little away for Gray. Joey Powell looking for a bit of French defense. Let's go to go wide for Sumato with Fence Wayne running, asking the question. And now the try will be run in. Oh, brilliant from Hugh Jones. Let's go. Get one back. Surely Joey Pelotu was the magic man. He created the chance. He took out about four of our defenders. Insultingly as well. Look at this. Get out of here, he says. Four players swept aside. Support line beautiful, like we see from Scotland for Hugh Jones. He does it here for Glasgow as well. Second try of the night for the Warriors. And it puts them almost back in this game. Two tries to drift, of course, for them and for us. If they can tie it up, that's as good as a loss. Here is where yeah, that's a good kick. That, if that, that is how you kick into the wind. Perfectly adjusted, so it went straight down the middle. That is a great kick there from the replacement fly half, Duncan Weir. Okay, back for Canetis here. Now, we've got to remember this wind is actually quite, it's quite a task here. Canetis gets some way. We've got 10 to play here. And Mateo is looking for it. Doesn't get it. And look out. Rory Darge is on the beat back. 
Let's go for the same position. Oh, that's a great tackle there. Oh, the big turnover for three. He's going to lose it straight away, though, surely. Oh, that's big power there from the Glasgow Warriors. Horn sticks to play the short side. Find some support, some big players there. That's going to be a turnover. Not releasing. Well. Penalty even better. We'll have another look at those sticks. Thank you, referee. Well, no chance going through there for Richard Gray. He's played good enough. But that one was just a step too far. Isolated, double turnovers. Looking for the triple. And now we get to Kiretis. Look at that wind. It's much different now to what it was for Greasy Hodge earlier. It's going to be just a question of legs. That's it for Kiretis. 28, 14, five minutes to play. Kiretis hits it. It's up in the air. It seems like it's taking forever, but it's over. Well, those are the sort of kicks where you really want to go low. Keep it on the ground. But Kaneda said, screw you, rules. Screw you, atmosphere. Screw you, wind. And he just smoked it into the air. Kick has got us 31 points to 14. For eight. Round the corner there, taking in a good little tackle. Well, here's Joey Powell. Well, here's Otami Abuna. Now we've got a bit of a chance here. Otami Abuna, bulldozing across the penalty. Kaneda gets it back inside the mainland. Oh, that was almost brilliant. George Horn, great defense by the nuggety little number nine. Well, Maitland has been very good at fullback. Contrary to other fullbacks who like to stay back at all times, Sean Maitland is one that loves to get up in the line. That's a turnover by Fafita and Joey Powell. Says there's enough for a bust here, I'll take it. Fafita still on the ball, here's the Alfari. Good little bust, oh no! We bust there from the hooker, and it's gonna be a yellow card. Horn is off of the bin. It won't matter, this game is done. Hooter wins right on time. There will be a penalty here though for the rejects if they want it. And you know what? I'm happy just to call this time. We'll take another look at three. Because why the hell not? Much easier to kick from this side. Carreras to wrap this sucker up. Let's go. Kick it sticks, very good. 34-14. The lead, blowing out to 20. And Kanata shows his wares in the number 10 jumper. Just as good as anyone else. Rejects win, Josh McKay is coming home. But a lot of question marks about this team as we make our way through these final recruitment stages. Excellent stuff. Key players throughout this game. Reese Hodge was very prominent. Once more, Jordan Taufua had a great game also. But how about the impact of Big Ben Tamiafuna coming on late and screwing himself a try alongside uh, with Santiago Carreras, Abelico Fikitoa and Reese Hodge, who kicked things all underway. Two tries for Glasgow, Matt Fagerson and Hugh Jones grabbing one apiece. Duncan Weir off the bench for an early injury to Ross Thompson, grabbing their two conversions. As for the so all the kicks successful, six in total. Three conversions for Hodge and two penalties in a conversion for Santi Carreras to put the rejects up by a very, very strong 20 points, 34 to 14. Look at the full-time stats while well, we dominate this game, really. Good second half by us, which is a rare, rare thing to say. Good line breaks in the second as well. We took over late on as the Glasgow Warriors were definitely good enough to threaten, but not good enough to beat. And that, my friends, that's all that matters. We've got our man, Josh McKay. Next game, he's starting to fall back. And I think we're going to give Reese Hodge a bit of a rest. I know. It's scary to even say that. Well, let's get the man in the team. All righty, so let's get our man in the team, Mr. Josh Mackay. Let's get him in here. Right, recruit player. M-C-K-A-Y. Brilliant. I'm a great speller. I went to primary school. Here he is, Josh Mackay. Now, it says, of course, left wing, right wing. But we all know he's more of a capable at fullback. We could edit that up. Um, but we know where he plays. So let's get the man into the team. Look, there's poor old Dolph. What's Dolph doing down here? We've got to get him back into the lineup as well. We're going to start him at fullback next game. Sean Maitland will come back in as well. But there is Josh McKay. 77 rated. So like I said, he's not a world beater. He's not amazing. He's not going to take the world by storm. But he's solid. He can play anywhere in that back three. And I think during his time in Super Rugby, he also spent, because he played at the Highlanders, where they like to play midfielders as outside backs and outside backs as midfielders he probably played a little bit inside that midfield channel as well but we're going to use him predominantly as a fullback i feel like 
Um, and he may spend a bit of time on the wings, but it's good to have a bit of that versatility because most of our outside backs can't cover fullback adequately enough. Here he is, Josh McKay, for a little bit of a look before we wrap up. Maybe changing that flag to a Scotland one soon, eh? Hey, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But of course, we know his skills. He's very fast. He's strong enough defensively. We saw in that game, he was very strong defensively. But again, great agility. He's going to beat you with his acceleration. And he's going to beat you with his step as well. Very elusive and a very cunning attacker as well. Otherwise, all round, solid enough skills. Good under a high ball. And will always run it back at you if he has the opportunity. I like his attacking intent and what he brings to the team. And hopefully, what he'll bring to the rejects as well. He'll start next game at fullback. I think we'll put Reese Hodge onto the bench. Give him a bit of a rest. Uh, and try to look to other avenues of players who are going to be key enough to really jump up this team as it goes forward. So next episode, I think I know where we're going. This is a guy who's going to be end game. He's a second rower. He's South African. He's one of the few South Africans that are going to be starting in this side. And he plays for the Sharks. But he's otherwise known as a bit of a Stormers legend, some may say. That'll be next episode. Let me know who you think is going to be. But until then, thanks for watching. Welcome Josh McKay back to Super Rugby and hopefully filling up and plugging a little hole in this team. Until next time, though, thanks for watching, team. Hope you're enjoying the series so far. We'll see you all next time. Until then, take care.